Hey, good morning. Richard Borson here with Gravel Driveway Recovery. And we are out in Monterey, Tennessee this morning. It's getting a little chilly. We've, uh, we're in the, in, the, in the fall months here. We're working on a, just a small project today to get this driveway back where it needs to be. So getting rid of all this grass, uh, getting, uh, bringing in new material, getting this uh, graded out so that it's handling the water that's coming through here. And so that's what we're going to work on today. We're actually not doing the whole driveway all the way over there. You just got to, uh, the owners decided to pick a specific area that we they wanted us to focus on and we're always happy to do that. So that's what we're, uh, that's what we're working on today. What's going on here so we've got a lot of water that's coming down this way and water that's coming down over here and so one of the things we've got to fix is how this water is going to be coming across this driveway this, we're what we're going to do is actually try to cut through here a section that um, captures this water and moves it over here he said that the owner said that they put a French drain in here he said it helped a little, but didn't really fix the problem. And that's always true. Uh, French drains do not work for moving water. So please don't spend your time using that as a solution. That's just not a good option. And uh, there's much better options to do. What we're going to do, just as a low-key solution, is we're going to just cut just a little. We're going to get our tilting bucket just cut just a little in here just to grab this water and move it move it off that way and uh, so uh, we're not doing a a uh, super high-end job on this one and making a real official ditch if you will but just something that we can lightly capture the water with and move keep it off this driveway in this section here so you'll see how we're doing that So here's where we're at now. If we use the grinder, gotten this turned over. There's a little cupping in here that, that definitely needs to be fixed, and that's happening because the water's coming down here. And I believe he's been box blading it. But we got all this turned over. You can see it already is looking. A lot better the one thing that's nice about this time of year when it when it's uh, rained a whole bunch is this uh, material just gets really soft and it's easy to work with 
So uh, we're again just coming up to right up in here, and Joey right now is working on just got to get in the material where he wants it to be. This actually wasn't part of our scope in here, and technically isn't, but we just didn't, I didn't like, ha like having all this done in here, although we're stopping just short of that area. Again, just choices that, um, choices that owners make, and, and, you know, everyone's got a budget, and they wanted to spend their money specifically to fix things, and not, just, not for aesthetics, but I just didn't like this, not being uh not being included so we uh at least turned it over we're not going to put fresh gravel in here but we um we're turning it over for for free and uh and uh so that's what you're seeing joey do right now So we had the uh, first load brought in. Sorry I didn't video it, but uh, we were having to rearrange vehicles and get them get them uh, re positioned where so he could get in here. So what we're doing right now is, like I said, there's just some water that's running down here and running this way, and so the owner just wanted some low key way of capturing this water and getting it moved over off the road because what's happening is the water is dumping onto about here and then about like right in in this section in here it's digging like a two foot wide by two foot deep trench in here that's how much water is coming through here so this isn't a matter of really totally reshaping and ditching and doing all this stuff we're just doing what what we would call just a low-key swale just something that can let the water know, hey, don't go on to, don't go on the driveway. Just, just ease on over this way, and then you know, keep on your way. So that's what, uh, that's what Joey's doing here. It's the low, we, we'll call it the low-key swell. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Of course, for you homeowners, if you call, if you call a excavator, or grader, and say, "Hey, I just want, I want a low key swale," they're gonna be like, "What's that?" <laughs> but if you call me, I'll know what you mean. Oh, it's down to brick. Ugh. 
you know, we're gonna likely be demoing some uh, houses and barns here pretty soon try to get you guys in on that if we can but uh one of the conversations I was having with the owners is, look, because they're going to resell the property. But I said, look, we, we don't want to put it, put anything that we may bury in the in a place where they may be doing work or stuff. Because I can't tell you how many times I've been trenching something and all of a sudden I come on a house. Like you, you don't have enough material to build a house. And uh, sometimes that's no joke. So uh, it's, it's not surprising to find this nice brick here. Okay, so what Joe's doing is he's made this cut here, and then now what he's gonna do is make make this other cut, and just basically at this point he's just gonna take off that grass there, and it'll, maybe a little more, and uh, and then we'll uh, he'll have you know, it's just a just a little trap. The low, and there you go, folks. There's the the low key swale. <laughs> Now, normally we would not be doing this after we brought in the, the gravel, but Joey and I had a little, uh, well, we talked about it, but kind of in the midst of shuffling things around and everything. By the time the truck got here this morning, we were like, the truck was here, and I'm like, wait, where's my dish? <laughs> so we're doing it with the gravel here, but normally we wouldn't just so, so we wouldn't have to worry about it, but... Um, it's actually working out okay. Same. So now you can kind of see what we're looking at here. And uh, the way that that water is just... We're not here to do a lot. Sometimes uh, less is more. And uh, so we're just, uh, we're just wanting to get this water so that it stays so that it stays off of here so I think we've got it where we're just going to say hey here's a better way to go we got the last load that we're going to have delivered today Joey's just distributing it putting it where he needs to have it done you can see our swale is done over here and um and now Devin's raking out there, getting those edges just right. And then uh, we'll get all this graded out. And uh, we'll roll it. So hang tight and we'll show you how we finish it up. So I want to show you the difference here. This is how most guys are going to leave it. They're going to back drag it. It'll compact it a little with their by tracking it, and they'll compact it a little with the bucket. 
and then I want you to see what it, what happens when you com when you actually compact it with the vibratory roller and the difference. And there's a big difference, and there's a performance difference. The functionality of it is different. It feels different. So I wanted you to see what that looks like. Boy, isn't it a beautiful day. <laughs> what a beautiful setting. We're, we're, God's bless us with a fortunate place to, a beautiful place to live. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Devin get done with, uh, with rolling this, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're, when he's all done. Well, there you have it. We got it finished just in time to roll to the next one. So what do you think? What could, what could we have done better? What what uh, would you have done differently? Let us know. And I'll point out that that's the area that we just turned over. Had a bunch of grass and stuff in it. We just turned it over and then compacted it again. So you can see kind of the difference between what it looks like when we bring in new material and then when we just turn over the existing material and uh, compact it. Appreciate you all coming today. God bless. Hope you have a great day.